All right, over in Switzerland, our anchors Julie Hyman and Brian Sazi caught up with the Williams Sonoma CEO Laura Alber, who described what it's like to be a part of the World Economic Forum in Davos. I always love to come here because it makes you think bigger. I mean, you're around people who are running much larger companies and bringing great ideas, and I'm always really conscious of thinking about the next thing and ideas and inspiration and, you know, how to, how to improve things. So what's, what are some of the ideas that you've been hearing about that you're really excited about on that front? Um, you know, I think there's been a lot of conversation about what's happening, honestly. It's a lot of uncertainty and the debate about recession, no recession. And I, you know, I was reflecting on that last night and thinking about the opportunity and the importance of thinking long term and not thinking too short term, you know, preparing for whatever might come, but building for the future. Laura, I can't help myself. I used to cover uh, retail stocks as an analyst for a long time. Uh, I will pivot off what you said and ask you this. What is the next, what's the next big thing in retail? What do investors in this space need to know about? You know, retail is, you know, about serving consumers and what is important to them. And I think quality never goes out of style. People want things that last. I, I do believe that sustainability is here to last and uh, here to stay, I should say. And, and it's important that people bring to market products that meet those needs. And we see that customers really care about, you know, um, materials that are sustainable and you no know, off-gassing and all those things that we talked about and we put in our reports. But I can also tell you that consumers vote with their wallets when they buy, you know, our green, uh, you know, our, our, our certified products, particularly in our children's business. Yeah, I, as a customer, I have to cop to b the, b definitely looking for those kinds of elements when I, I look f at your products. Um, do you think that your consumer is more resistant if there is, or I shouldn't say if there is, probably when there is an economic downturn? You know, I, I think, you know, everybody is worried right now. I mean, I don't, I think it's, you know, affecting everybody's mindset. Here we are talking about it. So I think you've got to be that much better. You've got to inspire. I mean, great retail, when you go to great retail, it takes you away. It makes you dream. You know, we were talking earlier about what we like to cook and, you know, um, nothing better than being invited to a fantastic dinner party, right? Thank you for the chicken recipe. Yep. <laughs> we're going to make some air fryer chicken. Um, but I think, um, you know, people love their homes and that is something that in your home is your biggest asset and it's something that is so fulfilling you know when you redo a room or even just hang some new wall decor up it really affects how you feel and um, we all learned that in the pandemic it became much more important to us and we're still you know working from home a lot more than we used to be and as things get expensive out there and stay expensive it's always nice to come back home and it's definitely the best deal that you have is at home during the pandemic, and remains uh, very much a key topic here at the, at the World Economic Forum, you had a lot of first-time home buyers, a lot of 30-somethings that bought a home for their first time, probably went to a Williams-Sonoma and, and redid their, their kitchen or their bathroom. Now, a couple years into the pandemic, where else do you see them remodeling their homes? What are they, in terms of product, what are they gravitating towards? You know, people um, started projects, and unfortunately, they were difficult. You know, a lot of things were back ordered, you know, it's really hard to get people to work on your house. So there's people who are still really in process of doing these projects, whether it's a kitchen or a bath remodel. And so usually the cycle goes, you buy a home, you do some remodel, and then you buy the furnishings that go with them. The minute you take everything out of a kitchen or out of a closet or out of a room to redo it and put it back in, you realize that you might need something to be You replaced. have to get fancier yeah. stuff to match the yes. redone whatever it is. Exactly. I, not that I'm speaking from experience or anything <laughs> of course like that. Not, right? yeah. how, how closely do your sales track the housing cycle or are they somewhat separate from it? No, it's a good question. It's hard to know where the correlations are and we've tried to triangulate it through the years. You know, I've been at Williamson Sonoma since 1995, believe it or not. I've been CEO since 2010. And, you know, there's, we always look at everything from stock market to um, you know, housing, uh, people moving, all those things. But there's also the, the reality of just freshening up your house, right? And that's a harder thing to quantify than some of the other more life stage pieces. We do have a big life stage business. So, you know, we've built everything from, you know, your, your first apartment to wedding to your, you know, your first house to children. And now we're actually doing... Um, uh, products, accessible products. And that has been a new launch that we 
brought this year into Potter Barn, and you wouldn't believe how successful those products are. Laura, uh, what is the secret to CEO longevity? You are the only CEO of Williams Sonoma that I know that I have covered. Pull back the pull back the current a little bit. What are you doing that may be able to help your fellow leaders? I, I really care. You know, I really care about the product and the people, and um, thinking about you know making it better every year. You know, how, what's next? Um, how do you make it more efficient? How do you motivate teams? How do you bring greater products to consumers? And how do you make it easier to decorate your home? How do you demystify what is very daunting and expensive for a lot of people?